The people who take care of Cincinnati's oldest African-American cemetery are trying to solve a nasty problem. Sewage is seeping up from the ground. And as Local 12's Brad Underwood explains, the problem is nearly a year old and still no one can pinpoint the source. United American Cemetery is the final resting place for dozens of black historical figures going all the way back to the mid-1800s. Civil War uh, veterans that fought on the Union side. Um, there are uh, civic leaders, uh, business leaders, I believe the first uh, black senator. The historical site is on the National Registry list, but sadly, for about a year, it's been closed to families and visitors. And they discovered high concentrations of uh, fecal coliform. More commonly known as raw sewage. And not just a little. The EPA says water with fecal matter in it is unsafe at a rating of 200 CFUs. Samples at the cemetery came in as high as 51,000 CFUs. That's 255 times the unsafe level. The only property that we're downhill from here in the cemetery is right up at the top of the hill there. It's the uh, Fifth Third facility. John Stillpass is the attorney for the United Baptist Church, which operates the cemetery. He says they discovered the sewage seeping from the ground when dealing with stormwater drain issues from the Fifth Third Bank office building next door. Stillpass believes the sewage leak is also coming from the bank's building. The only practical explanation is either coming from or through their property. The bank disagrees and says it worked with the church to address runoff issues and even spent more than $600,000 to fix the problem. The bank also says both independent testing and testing from the Cincinnati Health Department show no evidence the sewage leak is coming from their property. Testing was also done at a nearby apartment complex and a school. Still no connection. The stuff that you smell here and that we've been able to detect does not flow uphill. The health department is expected to do more testing at 5th 3rd next week. In Madisonville, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Although the cemetery is closed, you can set up a visit to a loved one's gravesite by calling the Union Baptist Church.